Ooh. God, it scared me. Holy cow, I just about stepped on that rabbit. Thought I was gone. Thought something had me. Welcome back to the channel guys uh it is wednesday november the 30th and uh we survived the storms uh, i don't think it was too bad anywhere we did have a lot of strong wind but far as we know everything's okay dad's rain gauge got half an inch but it looks more like an inch he said the rain was blowing sideways last night and in, into this morning but um Anyway, it is really wet, so uh, we're going to be doing some stuff around the shop. It's just me and Dad today. We uh, turned everybody off because um, it's just too wet, and we're supposed to keep getting some rain um, kind of off and on this morning. So anyway, what we got on the list for me and Dad, uh, we're probably going to look at the river screen. That's what's going down there on the uh, river, the new pumping station. We got to redesign, I think, how we're going to pull it out of the river and all, and how we're going to pull it from the river up to the shop. Uh, so we got a lot of uh, ideas to uh, brainstorm and look at it, uh, figure out exactly what we want to do. Then I think we're going to look at some shipping containers. We are probably going to buy one of them at some point before Christmas. Uh, let's see. Then while we're over there in Prattville and Montgomery, we're going to go to John Deere. We're going to pick up some parts for the pair tills. Then also while we're over there, we're going to uh, drop in at Gray Rocks, uh, the irrigated field at Gray Rocks. We want to get it bedded uh as quick as we can so probably going to drop in there take a look at the field and see what kind of land prep we got to do before we bed if we can just jump in there and bed or if we got to disc it one more time so that's all i know now so let's get this video started you any ideas yeah i can come up with some of them the tongue needs to be on this end because this is you're going to be pushing it into the river because you're going to have to undo your tongue it, it can't have extra weight it, you know, put this massive tongue on it. Mm -hmm. I would rather pull it all the way here. Because these, these plastic tires are not going to last long. <laughs> these things are plastic. They're not made for pulling. On the concrete. Here, here's the thought. Is our um, loader's got the bone. Would it hold that weight? Just pick it up the loader and walk it down there we'll bring it from the river to here uh -huh. you know that long boom extension we have yeah of course the boom the further you get out but i'm thinking the boom so you know you don't have to worry about it swaying and hitting the loader you have it way out there i i would rather pick it up with something if we got something that can pick it up pick it up drive it to the shop set it down rather than trying to rig up how we gonna pull this thing from here to the river every time on these riggedy little ragged tires. Then we're thinking about our loader, putting the boom on it, and we make some hooks, and we just pick the whole thing up uh, oh, yeah. with the boom and walk it down there and then set it in place, hook your, hook your winch onto it, and then you roll it back down right, in the river. Roll it down in there. You know, yeah. right you don't remember how much it weighed. Uh, what was it? 5,000? It's about 5,000, I think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's about what it was. We're going to put our boom on and, and do some testing, see, yeah. if, see if it'll pick it up like, you know, we could handle it with that, <laughs> with that tractor. If not, we got to come up with another plan. Yeah. You have to roll it, roll it down all the way then. Well, the boom for the loader is uh, off at another farm, so we'll be doing the testing on the uh, river screen tomorrow. Another thing that uh, we got on the list that we're prepping for tomorrow is this paratill right here. That's a deep tillage plow that we use. This is an eight row, and um, I hate to do this, but we're probably gonna cut the frame and make it a six row to match all our other ones. But dad want to go ahead and take a look at it and i uh, get a plan for tomorrow Put it off right here. i wouldn't get near that wheel right here right here 
back there. That gives you three rolls on this side and three on the other. Now, what kind of tire we got? Pretty good tire. Look at that. <laughs> what about the other side? That's amazing. Oh, that's another one. That's what I told you. Yeah. Where'd you see one? I think there's one over at the big barn. All right, y'all get that? That is the plan for the pair till, but that'll be on tomorrow's list. Did you write it down? I haven't been here in a while. Take that better old yeah yeah and the, being that it's settled mm -hmm. it, it'll it'll be, you know it'll go through there better that blade will cut the coulter it doesn't cut as good it'll softer so this is a field down here at gray rocks there's the this is an irrigated field there's a the pivot we want to take a look at it to see if the uh this is where we're gonna bed and we want to look at how many weeds have come up and the volunteer corn, which nothing has come up, so that's perfect. So, um, all this is uh, ready to bed, nothing to do, which is great. Dry weather. Need a lot of dry weather. All right, nothing to do here. Before we leave uh, Gray Rocks, we're gonna check out this field cultivator that I've been uh, eyeing ever since we've been down here. Looks like it's in good condition and uh, we may be in need of a field cultivator. It's not the widest one you've ever seen, but as far as I can tell, I think it may be in good shape. So we're gonna uh, take a look at it and get the expert on it. See what he says. You can look at the tongue. It's I tell you, tell you how much use it has. It's been barely worn. Cool pen. Mm -hmm. Barely. I wish it was up in the air. You could shake that shank and see how much play it gets in this bushing. Mm -hmm. Rephasing cylinders. I know you're not going to use it for a long time. The John Deere. 96 or 960. How wide it is? I'm going to say 38 feet. 38? Yeah. That may be too long. 30. That's what I said. <laughs> too long. <laughs> 30 feet. I like it. It's in good shape. That's the reason I like it. It hadn't hardly been used. But, um, I like it. Yeah. The bushing? Yeah. I think it's bushings, but they're non greasable. Um, some of our walk, walking axles, they have a grease fit in there, and it was a greasable bearing. These are not. Well, we have uh, made it to the John Deere store. This is the last stop of the day. Dad is inside. Uh, we got a pile of paratil parts that we needed to order. Um, so hopefully they got most of it in stock. pretty much got everything they had we had to order a lot of stuff but um this will get us plenty to uh get started going through the plows and um you know i get a couple of plows done all 
All right, guys, it is Thursday, and yes, we brought Lucy today, so she is so excited. Um, here's what we got on tap for today. Me and James are gonna be working on the pair of tills. We got all the parts right here we got from John Deere. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook the chisel plow he brought from Blackwell's Bend. We're gonna use that tractor to pull the eight row pair till. We're gonna pull it out of the woods and uh, hate to do this, but we're actually gonna cut the frame and make it a six row. I'll explain a little bit about that later. Um, so that's what we'll be doing. Mark and Wayne are uh, headed to uh, trick them. They're going to get the boom that goes on the front of the payloader or Komatsu loader. Anyway, they're going to get that boom hooked up and we're going to do some tests on the river screen to see if we can actually lift it up with that boom. Then after that, uh, Mark will be getting back on washing the uh, headers up and uh, the combine. So that's what we got on tap for today. So uh, yeah, let's get it going. Got that bushing on it, it's not gonna fit down in there. Well, that's not gonna work. all right like i said i hate to cut this frame but anyway as you can see it's an eight row pair till the reason we're gonna go six is because it's just so wide you got to put the tongue in the tires just get it down the road and six rows match up exactly with our planters we have a 12 row planter so when you're doing in rows and stuff everything just matches up we've already got two six rows we're gonna make this one a third six row because we got a lot of pair tilling to do got wayne's gonna salvage the tires they're still good he's got four of them to get off james is going to be going through the uh shanks and all putting back on the parts that we need that we got from john deere and coulters and stuff and i'm gonna start the uh the torching so um let's make it a six row Well, we got the first side off. Uh, everything went pretty smooth. So, keep our fingers crossed on the second one. We got James right now. He's gonna move this out of the way. Wayne's still gotta take the tire off of it. But um, it's going out in the equipment lot. It'll get it used for something at some point.
Alabama weather. Changes every hour. All right, part two. Let's cut the other side off. Got something for you. Your tag. Let me put it on. Yeah, I put it on. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then you put that in the glove box, or? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Hey, Dan. Huh? Yeah, we gotta have that fucking specter too. This time on past, he, he was in some spots. Uh -huh. That's what we looking at. All the lights working. So that one's gonna have to be replaced. Uh huh. Because uh, <laughs> some spots is worse than that. Good to go. All right, and moving on to the next project, and that is the river screen. What we're gonna be doing with this is we're gonna be doing some test. Uh, we got Wayne with the boom on the Komatsu loader. Uh, we're gonna be seeing if that boom will lift this thing up. So. Uh, that's what we're going to be testing. We got to move a bunch of stuff. Got to get this out of the way. Got to get that out of the way. And uh, then we'll get this thing out in the lot and uh, see if we can lift it up. What you doing? <laughs> you tell them how to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's off but one, one wheel. She's off, holy snap. It doesn't feel real heavy. I'll watch this, see how much stress is on that thing. All right. 
well of course i could chain it you know closer back here right to right there where that brace comes i can chain it right there main thing is we were trying to get it away from the loader so when you're driving something you know how it tends to sway so the more we got away from those tires the uh, less chance of this thing swinging and hitting the loader and messing up these pontoons and all that so i can go back a little bit farther toward the loader right there and it would be a lot easier on it but i wanted to try it out there on the end to see just to see if it would do it out there all right Whew, if I'd have dropped that thing, Dad would have killed me. But we didn't. We didn't drop it. All right, guys. You know what time it is. I got uh, mostly cans today, so we'll be doing the basketball best out of five. Let's go. Really, one out of five, that's all we could do today. We can only go up from here, but did y'all see that last shot? Not bad, it went in though. <laughs> so the next thing on the list is we're gonna move the paratil that we just cut on. James has gone through it, it is ready to go to the field. Not quite yet though. As far as the plow wise, parts and all, it is ready to plow. We're gonna move it in the new shop and uh wayne is going to start wire brushing scrubbing it uh we're going to give it a paint job paint it safety yellow just like the other ones and uh then it will be ready for the field but we're going to move that one in there james is going to go hook up to another pair till he's going to start going through it if he gets through with that one he's going to go hook up to the other one and uh go through it so that's what he's doing for the rest of the day we still got to put the river screen where is it right there we got to put it back in the shed and uh then we'll be wrapping this video up so what do you think, Lucy? Hold up. We're not going to be taking loose of the plow yet. James just realized that we don't have any jack stands on the uh, front of the plow. Can't unhook. So this right here is one of the other six rows that I've been talking about. And if you look right here, this is what we call a jack stand. If you take loose of it right now without the jack stand, it's gonna hit these shanks and uh, the whole thing is gonna tip forward. We have the other jack stand over there. That's the one, the end that I cut off. Uh, it's a heavy duty one. It's not like a light duty like this, but we can use that one if we have to, but we have to um, find two of them. We are on a scavenger hunt right now for jack stands. God, that scared me. Shh. <laughs> Holy cow, I just about stepped on that rabbit. I mean, it was about a foot and a half from my from where I stepped. Whew. Thought I was a goner. Holy cow, thought I was gone. Thought something had me. Well, look at that jack stand. Uh, heavy duty and severely bent. That does not look good. Well, it looks like we'll be going with the heavy duty jack stands. It's really not that big a deal. If we had the lighter ones, we'd definitely be putting those on. But once you get hooked up to it, you know, you don't take loose to it till you're done with the plow. So heavy duty, put them on.
right guys that is going to be it for the video hope y'all enjoyed it especially the ones that made it all the way to the end me and lucy are tired we've had a full day we are ready to call it quits thank everybody for watching hope y'all have a great weekend and uh we'll be back at it next week so um that's it anything you want to say anything see you next week guys we're out